Welcome to Morning Man with Pastor Steve Myrie. This morning's topic, no more camouflage. And he said unto me, My grace is sufficient for thee, for my strength is made perfect in weakness. 2 Corinthians 12, verse 9. There's a sanctity of your spirit that comes through the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ and sanctifies the inner part of your being. Certainly, once you get cleansed up in your spirit, it will be reflected in your character and conduct. You won't be like Mary, the mother of Jesus, and just like Mary Magdalene did before she met the master. The spirit of the Lord will give you boundaries. On the other hand, people must be loose from the chains of guilt and condemnation. Many women in particular have been born by manipulative messages, specialized in control and dominance. The church must open its doors and allow people who have a past to enter in. What often happens is they're spending their years in the back pew trying to pay through the obeisance for something in their past. Congregations are often unwilling to release reformed women. Remember, the same blood that cleanses a man can restore a woman also. The Bible never camouflaged the weakness of people God used. God used David. God used Abraham. We must divorce our embarrassment about wounded people. Yes, we've got wounded people. Yes, we've got hurting people. Sometimes they break the boundaries and they become lascivious and out of control. And we have to readmit them into the hospital and allow them to be treated again. That's what the church is designed to do. The church is a hospital for wounded souls. The quote of the day. Bible never camouflage the weaknesses of God's people. Now go today with the assurance that you're cleansed by the blood of Jesus.